yes, it's good to be back. Now, where is Richard? Can't wait to tell him about what happened. Richard, where are you? I'm right here, Doctor. Up there? Okay, just a second. No, no, you're not here. Oh, there you are. Okay, awesome. I'll be right down. You're not going to believe what happened to me. The adventures I've had. First there was the volcano, which I flew over, and, and then there were these strange black monuments and giant mushrooms. Oh, and zombies. They've got zombies and skeletons in that world too. And and uh, and there was a strange orange flashy zappy little light thingy. And the villager, oh my gosh, the, the villager, there was this villager who beckoned me to follow him, and I followed him to his village, and over there there was this, this elf, strange little... Doctor, why don't you sit down over there and start from the beginning? Okay, okay, sure, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Okay, I'll just sit right here, and I'll tell you the whole story. So, there I was above a volcano, and it looked like it was about to erupt. So all I could do was grab my hang glider and hope for the best. I made it to the edge easily, and soared like an eagle around the valleys, looking for anything interesting. I soon spotted a strange black monument and descended to check it out. It was being guarded by several deadly poisonous snakes which I swiftly took care of before claiming the treasure in the center. Then night was falling so I decided to sleep. When I woke up I found myself surrounded by at least twenty, no no no, thirty zombies and as many skeletons. Creepers were closing in too and I swear I saw seven or eight endermen in the corners of my eyes. I bravely stepped forward and took my first swing, decapitating seven zombies at once. Doctor. Excuse me for interrupting, but perhaps you don't realize. I was not able to communicate with you, but I was able to see and hear everything from your perspective. Oh, you know, uh, Richard, I, I just remembered. I, I left James in the Dragon Claw pinch hold, and he's, he's probably cramping by now, so I should really go and help him out there. Uh, but but we'll, we'll talk again soon okay and i gotta put all this cool stuff away as well um you can analyze it later for me right uh okay okay bye 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 man stupid pan-dimensional beings knowing everything what's the good of having a friend if you can't even exaggerate the story a little bit anyway i'll talk to richard later it's much more entertaining talking to myself anyway. <laughs> and I do need to get home, actually, because the part about James is quite true. Shame, my poor piggy. I left him in the dragon claw pinch hold there on the grass. And yeah, yeah, he probably is quite cramped and quite hungry by now. Um, okay, I guess jumping from here will do. have to use some hang glider skills. Geronimo! Woohoo! Yeah. Lower, 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 lower. Yeah, that'll be, that should be fine. And, uh, what else do I need to do now that, now that I'm home? It's good to be back. But I really am looking forward to doing some more traveling. Now that, now that, uh, we know that it's all working again. The Fractus is running. As it always did before the Cypher. Which I won't be trying anytime soon, again. Um, okay, so we need to look for James, and oh yes, my my Velociraptor, for whom I've now thought of a name. I'm very happy to say, I, I need to go and christen her. And the garden, oh yes, let's go see, wait, let's just drop here, and... Right, no, no, you know what, it's not fair, let me go see James first. He's through this way somewhere. James, buddy, where are you? Down here, maybe? There you are! Oh, I'm so sorry, James. Oh, let me let me get you off your your belly there. You poor thing. Come on. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, let me scratch your, scratch your neck. Come, come here. Let me scratch it. There you go. Oh, behind the ear. There you go. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come on, I'll let you in the house. As a treat. Until I can make you a new lead, that is. <laughs> Shame. Uh, you're probably hungry, aren't you? Wait, I've got two pieces of bread left. I guess I can share one with you. Here you go. Munch, munch. I'll save one for myself. And let's go check the garden, actually, before we go into the house. 
and uh, oh, 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 another dinosaur, gotta check that. I think I wanna hatch a new one today. Hatch another egg. Let's see, where is she? Where is she? Don't see her from here. Mm, I'll have to go inside, but let's see the garden first. Oh wow, yes, I wonder how much time passed when I was in that other dimension. Hey, I can't have weeds. Well, it's not exactly a weed, it's, it's a flower, but uh, it's a bit there. Not in the bed. You know, James, you are greedy. I know you. You're going to run for these carrots, so just stay down for a second. There we go. There we go. Alright, now you can come back up. Uh, what do I use? There we go. Okay, I think I will plant all of these carrots again. They're all for you, James. And got my potatoes here. They're very really nice. I think I'll just plant another three and keep three for myself. And the wonderful wheat. How many seeds did I get? That's good enough. There we go. So I'll already have some more bread and some roast potato. Much better than cookies, I'd say these two here. Okay, James, now let's go and see our Velociraptor, who I have decided to call... Oh, no, I need to go this way. Come on in. Come on, James. Okay, you, you, you know what to do. Okay, so where... Hey. Oh, here you are. Hello. <laughs> Look at you, you've grown a little bit. Yeah, time definitely passed while I was on that side. Oh, look at the blue little toes. Just look. <laughs> so, my, my dear little thing, your name will from now on be Claudia. Okay? <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> mm? Yes, I think that's a wonderful name. Now, let's see. Do you have enough food? Yes, you've got plenty of food. That's good. And so let us go. Um, I think the next thing that we need to do, James, come on out quickly, quickly before Claudia gets out. Come on, there you go. Okay, now I've got to get you quickly close. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is store all of the stuff here that we got from that dimension. I'm going to call it from now on the, the volcano realm. And uh, I think the best thing for that would be to check. Actually, no, you know what? The attic is a little bit cramped. Let's make a new room. Uh, but there isn't really much space on, on the sides. Hey, you! <laughs> what are you doing there? <laughs> Peeking in the window like that. Yes, you're very cute. Um, no, I think the best would be to go down. Let's make a basement. Where would be the best place? I think, think over here. Yes, let's let's see here. What do we have here? Yes, and okay, yeah, that'll do. We'll get get to work there. What do you think, James? Nice basement, and I'll, I'll put in a few chests for all the different things we get from different realms. Can't wait to be traveling to different dimensions now, eh? It's gonna be great fun. And yeah, I'll take you with sometimes. Don't worry. Okay, uh, yeah, let's get to work. Finally finished. And yes, that really looks nice. Not bad for a doctor, at least. A sort of rustic feel and the carpeting. Did have a few mishaps, but they add to the rustic feel, I think, these little mistakes here. And I've never tiled the wall before, so they can be forgiven. Hey, James, you should get down here. Looks awesome. Although, <laughs> I don't think you'll fit down here, James. You're a bit too fat. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll describe it for you in detail. So let's see, what are we going to do? All the chests for all the different things we'll be collecting in the future realms in the Fractus. But for now, let's just store the things we got from the Volcano Realm. Which will be all the flowers and things, and this obsidian totem. Ooh, speaking of obsidian totems and things, I wonder if this world, the real world, has a nether. 
now that uh, I know that zombies are leaking through and fossils are also seeming to appear underground probably I've got a nether here as well hmm. I should try it, I need to get some obsidian but okay, let's see here I need, uh, where's the rest? oh yes, everything else is here the strange gift I got from the master whoever or whatever the master is something we're gonna try to figure out as we explore all these different realms but okay um, what do I need to do? I need to take all of this stuff so I'll need to temporarily just transfer all of this across to here there we go right and now grab this stuff and put it all in here although I think I'm gonna hold on to the flowers that's a good idea there are two things I'd like to do today or tonight I think it's probably night time by now and that is read this book here which I've got a feeling definitely has something to do with with these flowers it having the name Lexica Botanica and I also want to hatch another dinosaur go choose an egg and give Claudia a little brother or sister or at least cousin. Okay, there we go. I'll put the mushroom in the garden. That can go, that can go. Alright, that can stay. I'm also going to plant the sapling and see what happens. Okay, now let's just put this back here so that I can grab my other stuff. Right. Where's that ladder? Here we go. And the trap door so James doesn't fall down <laughs> and get himself trapped. Hey James, you should really see the basement. It's awesome. We've got awesome soft carpeting and awesome looking lanterns and a wall, a tiled wall. It looks great. But okay, let's decide where are we going to to do this. Hmm. Yes, maybe over here. That's a good idea. Plant these flowers. And uh, read the book. There we go, James. Planted in no particular order. And now let's read this very intriguing Lexica Botanica. Where did I put it? Here we go. Oh, I forgot about these flowers. But they're not mystical, so I'll plant them later. Although the, the mushroom I really do want to plant. Um, let's see. And the sapling, actually. Here we go. The mushroom we can put somewhere where I won't accidentally step on it because of the effects. <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of fun. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh James, you, you're looking kind of strange there, buddy. Um, like, <laughs> okay, and uh, then the sapling. I'd like to put the sapling somewhere special because it's not every day you run into a blue tree. At least a silver tree with blue leaves. I think we put it right, right here, where the moonlight can get it. There we go. See what happens. Okay, so now for this Lexica Botanica. Let's see. The Lexica Botanica, 194th edition. Hmm. Let's take a look at this first, but basics and mechanics. Welcome to Botania. What is peace? Is it truly just a lack of combat? Is it years of sitting quietly in a garden surrounded by flowers? Is it watching over... Uh oh I would be interrupted. Yes, that's right. Thank you, James. <laughs> hey, stop picking on my pig. So, as I was saying... Is it watching over a kingdom that you are able to call your own? I'd like to call a kingdom my own. Is it the completion of... Da -da 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 -da? Okay, you know what? This is kind of boring. Let's say for a moment, not even say that peace truly is... Okay... Now imagine that everything we just talked about was possible. Okay, while your flora perform every... Basically, magical flowers doing everything for you is what I'm getting from this. Are they saying that's possible? Mm -hmm. With the help of this book, your dreams will become a reality. Okay, very nice. Focuses on a variety of devices, both magical and bordering on technological. 
It holds the secrets of the elves who have long ago fled from this world. Ooh, there were elves? Didn't know that. For anyone with the basic knowledge of redstone... Ooh, I saw redstone in the caves. Okay, I, I used to just leave it. I, I guess I'll collect it from now on. Okay, try it out. You'll be amazed. I'm, I'm kind of impatient here. You know what? I'm going to give this book to Richard because Richard will just absorb it into his brain in one go. Hey, James. And then he can tell me all about it. At least the important bits. Right now, I really, really think that... Hmm. Well, I did want to hatch a, a dinosaur, but I think I'll do that in the morning. For now... It's mining time again. I'm going to go get some more um, obsidian to test out uh, the uh, the gateway to the nether, if that works here as well as in all the other realms. And then also redstone, it seems I need to get. And yes, there are some parts in my cave that I haven't explored yet, so I'll just go exploring. James, I'm going to like do the, the dragon claw pinch again, because I don't really want you down in the caves, right? I'm sorry, I'm sorry for this, but you, you don't listen. You never listen to me. You always follow, so... Mm, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Don't worry, I'll be back quick this time, not not like last time. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, James. Bye. Okay, let's do it. Oh yeah, that was a great mining mission. Hello, James. Told you I wouldn't be long. <laughs> you can get up now. So, James, you won't believe what I found down there. It's awesome. Besides the spiders, uh, yeah, they, they were a bit of a but a bit of a nuisance, but but I dealt with them. Just a few bites, you know. Thanks for asking. I'm okay. <laughs> so yes. Besides the diamonds and the redstone and the gold all in one place, and the lava from which I made obsidian, you know, to test our nether, see if we've got a nether in this world. Wow, it's morning already. I mined all night. Uh, yeah, besides all that, I was really lucky in one of the chests. Look what I found. <laughs> so I just, like, uh, yeah, let's hit this block here. Huh? Huh? Are you paying attention, James? <laughs> Look at that. It's going to make my my uh, interior decorating jobs a lot easier. Very, very nice. I think I'll keep it like that. Nice and natural looking. Hey. But okay, so yes. The next thing I do before I even put any of this stuff away is I'm going to hatch a dinosaur. Another dinosaur. A, a little cousin for Claudia. Just because it's so exciting to do so. And I haven't seen this one yet, so... Let's let's see what happens. 
I'll make an enclosure for him or her, of course, later on, because each dinosaur deserves their own enclosure, and I also, I'm not sure how big this one's gonna get. But, yes, okay, so let's do it. Come on, you, come with me. Hello, Claudia. So guess what? You're getting a cousin today. Wait, wait, let me just close the door here. Come on, James. Do your teleportation thing. Okay. Here we go. Is the egg ready? Doing good stuff. Ooh, it's a pretty egg. Really bright red. Hello, James. Um. Hey, Claudia. How are you doing? Oh, you're fine. Four days old already. And our other egg here. Hey, 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 don't, that's too close, that's too close. You never know what happens when a dinosaur egg hatches. And I wanted to recognize me as his, as his father, not you, James. Okay, got a little way to go still. Yes, Claudia. Oh, there you are. <laughs> wow, look at you. Hello, Ooh, you, you kind of look dangerous, I'm, I'm a bit afraid. A bit afraid to scratch you on your head, you're going like, to nip my finger off. <laughs> so this is what an Allosaurus looks like. Looks like. Okay, so James, come say hello. Don't worry, I don't think it'll harm you. Come on, be shy. <laughs> Let's see here. Untamed, oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good. I didn't know that they couldn't be tamed. Um, but apparently you can still order them, so let's see. Nope. There must be some different way of, of taming it. Okay, you, so you're gonna stay here. I will think of a name somehow, and I, I will make an enclosure as well. And, uh, yes. Um, uh, come, come meet your cousin. Hey, Claudia, where'd you go? Claudia. Don't be shy, Claudia. Come on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'll just let, leave you guys to get to know each other. Don't know what your name is yet, but, but I'll think of something, I promise. Okay, James, let's get out of here. I think these two cousins would like some privacy. They, they're sort of eyeing each other out. Whoa, yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm getting out of here just in case there's a fight. Come on. Come on, James. And it's definitely time for bed now. Uh, got lots of journeying ahead of me. I want to go to a new dimension. And I gotta build an enclosure for the dinosaurs, so yes, I need my beauty sleep. Good night, world. <laughs>
You're not going to believe what happened to me. The adventures I've had. First there was the volcano which I flew over, and, and then there were these strange black monuments and giant mushrooms. Oh, and zombies. they got zombies and skeletons in that world too. And, and, uh, and there was a strange orange flashy zappy little light thingy. And the villager, oh my gosh, the, the villager, there was this villager who beckoned me to follow him, and I followed him to his village, and over there there was this, this elf, strange little... Doctor, why don't you sit down over there and start from the village? Okay, okay, sure, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. Okay, I'll just sit right here, and I'll tell you the whole story. So, there I was above a volcano, and it looked like it was about to erupt. So all I could do was grab my hang glider and hope for the best. I made it to the edge easily. eagle around the valleys, looking for anything interesting. I soon spotted a strange black monument and descended to check it out. It was being guarded by several deadly poisonous snakes which I swiftly took care of before claiming the treasure in the center. Then night was falling so I decided to sleep. When I woke up I found myself surrounded by at least twenty, no no no, thirty zombies and as many skeletons. Creepers were closing in too, and I swear I saw seven or eight Endermen in the corners of my eyes. I bravely stepped forward and took my first 